hello welcome back to lovely lovebird designs we're back to the dogs and this is my cute little golden retriever charm I use caramel bands for this one you can use any kind of beige bands to match your golden and he has cute little ears they're a little flat they go right here at the neckline and I just think he's adorable and he has a little fuller tail with some triple bands in the tail and I hope you like him and I'm going to make a little tutorial for you and um, let's get started okay okay so you will need caramel bands or any kind of beige you need about uh, some black bands for the little claws for their um, for his little paws and the nose and the eyes and you can use beads too so but I'm going to use all black bands and caramel and you can use beige too if you'd like so you need a single loom staggered position arrow facing down and I'm going to use all double bands and we're going to place it from this pin to this pin first then this pin to this pin on the left side and then we'll work on the right side. And once again, they're all double bands. If I'm going too fast for you, you can um, just stop and catch up. And then we'll work in the middle. So push this down. Two and three. It's going to be three stitches in the middle. right side and this is going to close off the shape of the head and then we'll work on the left side okay the neck will be a triple band so three And the body is going to be five stitches long. So this is one, two, and these are doubles. We're going back to doubles. So this is a triple, and then we're going back to doubles. Four and five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll work around on the side of the body. So right here at the triple, we're going to connect this pin to this pin and then work our way down with doubles. Now the left side. So if you like the dog series, I'm going to make some more breeds too. If you um, want a specific breed, please comment on below in the comment box. So here's the body, and now we're going to make the arms and the legs. So I'm just going to push these down, and we're going to start with the top two legs. Okay, so you need your black band, and we're going to make the little claws, and it's going to be on the hook, wrapped four times. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to double stitches, double, for the legs. So that will be 
one set. Two. Three. Four. And number five. Okay, so that's one leg, and at the end we're going to actually bend this so it looks like this, and separate the claws so they come out a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to place that right here. Okay, we're going to make another one for the right side. So you're going to need a black. One, two, three, four. Then double stitches. Okay, so double. And we're just repeating the same leg. So it's one, two, three, four. And five. Okay, and we're going to place it right here. Okay, move it to the right. And let's work on the hind legs. And we need black again. One, two, three, four. And now doubles again. One, two, three, and then four. Okay, we're going to place this to the side and we'll go to the loom because we need the thigh area. I'm going to place a double band here and a double band here. Then place our leg. And then we're going to loom this left side first. Then the right. off the loom, and we're going to place it on these two pins. So one here, and one here. Okay, now we're going to repeat and go to the left. So black band, one, two, three, four, then a double. Another set. It's two. Three. And four. Okay, put it to the side. Then a double. From this pin to this pin. And then on the diagonal, place it, the leg on the pin, and we're going to loom this one first. Take it off the loom and place it on here. is going to be all caramel, so it's going to be a single, one, two, three times on the hook, then a double, 
And I want to make the tail a little bit thicker because they're a little bit more furry on the tail. So I'm going to go into triple. So three. Then another triple. Okay, another triple. Then a double. So this is a single, then it's a double, triple, 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 double. And I'm going to place it right here. Okay, I'm going to push this down. We're going to make a little extension on the chest just because it comes out a little bit. They're a little bit more fuller in the chest area, which is a small little extension. This is going to be a double, and you're going to place it from this pin to this pin. So once again, this pin to this pin. And then another double. So it's one and two, okay? So it's two double bands right on top of each other. And then the same on the left side. Okay, then we're gonna stop right there. And now we can place our little structural bands. This is gonna be a single. Make it a triangle, single triangle, single triangle, and another single triangle. Okay, so the body's done. So now his face. So I need another black band for the nose. I'm going to wrap it on the hook four times. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to take a triple for a snout. Bring the nose right in the middle. Bring it back on the hook. It's right in the middle. So it looks like that. Take another single. Bring it on the triple like that. And then we're going to place it on these two pins. And then we're going to bring it down and lay it flat just right here. Now the eyes, I'm just using two black bands again. It's one, two, three, and four. Then another one. One, two, three, and four. Then a single caramel. You're going to slide the eyes on the caramel. Then you're going to place it on these two pins again. I'm going to separate this. Bring it above. And it's going to sit just like that. You can put beads on here too and use beads for this. Like a small pony bead. Okay, now finally the ears. Now the ears, I made very a lot of different ears, and I think this one came out the best, and it's actually like the most simple too. So we're gonna place the ears on the loom, and it's gonna be four. Four bands, so four together, and we're just going to place it from this pin to this pin, then another four, makes them really super thick and really cute, and then you're going to get a double and wrap it around this pin two times, so this is a double, wrap it around twice. 
And now we can loom this. So we'll push that down. Loom forward. Loom forward. Take this off. Okay, and there's a cute ear. And flatten it out. Then you can take a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, and slide the ear on that single. Bring it back on the hook, and we're going to place it right here. Okay, and that is our ear. Okay, we're going like, to make another one. So it's going to be four. And another four. Then a double. Wrap twice around. Okay. Then we'll loom that. Then a single twist upon itself, brace it on the hook, bring it on, back on the hook like that, and then we'll place it right here. Okay, so this is the layout. Make sure yours looks like this. I'll even place them like this for you. And let's start looming. Okay, so now we're going to start looming. Pull the tail back, and we're going to grab the left bands first. Bring it to the left pin. Now the right side. Okay, now the middle. And we're just going to loom straight up the middle. We're going to stop at the neck, and now we can loom the right side extension. Now, I'm only grabbing this bottom band and this bottom band. So we're going to go all the way at the bottom. Grab that band. All the way at the bottom. Grab that band. And now, here is the extension. I'm only grabbing the top two bands. Okay, that's the extension. So I'll show you. There's one, and this is just the top. Two. And I'm going to place my finger right here on this pin, and I'm going to take that extension and place it on this side. Just like that. And now I'm going to loom the bottom. Okay, now the neck, shoulder area. And we're going to stop. Okay, so that's one extension. Now this left side, same as the right, just the bottom. Okay, we're going to stop. Now just the top. just the top. Okay, 
Okay, place my finger right here and bring this over to the left side. So now the bottom. Okay, now the shoulder. And now this triple neck. And the last three bands. So now my next band is going to be this one on the left. It's going to be the upper two. Then my right. And now my middle. Now I'm going to bring this like my other dogs. And the nose is going to go through this band. Right on top, bring that nose down. Then just keep on looming forward. Okay, now the right side. We did all the hard stuff. Okay, now the ears. And now the left side. And now this part. Okay, he's loomed. So this is his layout. Make sure yours looks like this. With the extensions on the side. And you're going to need a double. Place it through the top. Make a slip knot. Pull taut. And now we can slowly take him off the loom. He's got extensions and a lot of bands. So you don't want to pull him off because then he'll break. So do it one by one. comes out and like my other dog tutorials he needs some work at the end and some sewing up his belly so he's gonna look like this when he comes off you don't need the loom anymore I'm gonna stretch him out okay here's the extension on the chest bring that out Bring the arms, now his face, put your finger right behind and push back of the head. Bring, make the nose straight, the ears, pull, and then the ears I want to facing down so you can go on the top and just pull it down so it goes down. So, and then do the same with the left side. Make sure the eyes come out, and he's looking adorable. Okay, so we're going to turn this little guy into this guy. So you're going to need a pair of scissors, too, at the end. So we can, we're going to sew the belly shut. Okay, so you need your hook. Go through the neck, which is the triple band, and you're going to slowly tug on it to make his head go up. So it looks like that now. And now we're going to close him and sew his belly so now he's 3D and round. So we have the three bands in the middle and then our extensions on the side. We're going to grab a single band and we're going to 
take our hook and go through this side extension right here and then go through the other side extension so it's a double band so it looks like this we're going to grab our single bring it through and then make a slip knot down so that's one part then we have another extension we're going to go through that put your hook on this little thread and bring it through and if you want to make him a little thicker in the chest you can put some stuffing in here too that would look that would be nice and now we're into the regular part of the body so we just sewed the extensions, then I'm going to go through the next stitches, bring it through, and then we'll go to the next one, and bring it through. I'm going to stop right there. If you want to go another stitch closer, you can sew that too. But I'm going to just stop right there. Now you're going to need your trusty scissor. Cut that. And we're going to sew him shut. You need your hook and you're going to anchor one part of the thread underneath like one or two bands. Pull it through just like that. Now you're going to make like a triple knot to secure it. So you can either cut the excess or you can hide the excess within the dog. I'm just going to cut it. Throw that away. Okay, stretch him out. Now he's 3D. We're going to pull down the legs. These are already pulled. And this paw is already done. We're just going to separate the little claws and then pull the bottom to make it flat. So we're going to do the same here. Separate these black bands. Pull the bottom so he's flat. Okay, so he's walking forward. And now we'll work on the back legs. Pull the bottom. Separate these guys. Pull the bottom so it's flat. You can make it more. And then the tail. So it's got a cute full tail. Go on that double band at the bottom. And just like the neck, pull this up. And pull that forward. So the tail's sticking up. Now we're going to hide the bands on the top. And I'm just going to sew it in the back. And this creates the more full um, 3D effect head also. Okay. So like we did before, I already pulled down the ears. So you just want to pull it to the right and it'll go down. You can make it flat with your, ha with your hands. I'm going to bring out that eye a little bit. It's hiding. Okay. You 
make sure the snout is good. And you have a lovely Lovebird Designs Golden Retriever. I think he came out cute. And you can do different colors with him too. And he'll stand on his own. And we made him. And please comment if you want another breed. I'm going to work on some more breeds too. So this is Lovely Lovebird Designs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give this a big thumbs up. And we'll see you soon. Bye.